Here we go again, guys. Back at it at LAX. Now it's morning. Last I talked to you guys, it was nighttime. I'm going to try to get on a plane this time. Uh, not American Airlines. So let's see if it works. I'm amused by that hashtag of Jenk on a plane. I uh, did a series of videos, if you didn't see, on my own Facebook page last night, facebook.com slash Jenk Uber official. I got kicked off of an American Airlines flight. Uh, a lot of attention has been paid to what happened with me, or some attention, not a lot, but a couple of articles, and then you guys are mad about it and writing about it on Twitter. Um, but there's another kid on the plane, and that's what's so frustrating. He gets totally screwed. Nobody knows who he is. I, I didn't know who he was. He got kicked off for complaining too. So bottom line is, we complain, but that's okay. Everything settles down. Because of the complaints, they bring the plane. We're about to get on the plane. The first kid, they won't let him anywhere near the plane. And I'm like, what? And then some guy makes up a story about how he smoked pot. What? We were all there together in the terminal for the last four hours. Nobody was smoking pot. He's off the plane, and security escorts him out. Me, I'm on the in the tunnel, and the two supervisors that had come, one of them comes in and goes, the captain has asked you to come off the plane. I'm like, what captain? The captain wasn't there at all when the, when the whole issue broke out. You can see it in the video. There's no crew. In fact, some of the people are yelling, where's the crew? And my phone had, were, it was about to die, uh, so I'd go on to charge the battery as well as get the snack. I was nowhere near there when the captain left. It wasn't the captain. That's an excuse that they use when management is annoyed by, an, uh, by a customer and wants to ruin that customer's day, wants to ruin the customer's week, their plans, etc. Now, am I going to ever get to Florida, get to the conference I'm going to? Eventually, we're going to Washington to do civil disobedience, democracyspring.org. There, we actually in intend to do disobedience. Here, we didn't intend it. We were just customers who were getting screwed over. It turns out there is a, a couple of heroes to this story, uh, and they're largely employees, right? Not management. Uh, so the guy at the counter was wonderful. He kept apologizing when it wasn't his fault. He was really kind and, and, and patient with everybody. The supervisors come, and unlike the guy at the counter, their attitude is, so what? So what? We're not going to talk to you. We're not going to talk to anybody. We're going to be completely standoffish. And one of them even did this to me while I was asking a question. <laughs> I had forgotten it, but one of you guys reminded me on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, and she, like, I don't care about your complaints. Your complaints are annoying me. Of course I can make you wait four hours. And I said, are any of us going to get refunds or anything like that? They're like, no, of course not. And by the way, I mean, on top of all this, they're basically robbing me because at the time, until it came, became public, they never offered a refund. They're like, no, you don't get one. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha. You annoyed us uh, as our customer. So we're going to rob you. Uh, we're going to make sure you don't get on a plane. We're going to make sure you don't get to where you're going. Okay. So what could they have done? Well, the thing that they could have done is say, hey, guys, just like the guy at the counter, we're here because the guy at the counter called us and we're here to help you guys, right? And I super get that you guys are frustrated. That one sentence right there would have helped immensely. We, we totally understand. Another sentence that would have helped, it's our fault. We made you wait for four hours. It's our fault. So we're going to try to make it up to you, right? First of all, we got to get you our, your plan. That's why we're here. None of that. Like a cursory, yeah, okay, sorry about the wait, but okay, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Mm. It's not about the conversation, but just like any gesture where they're like, hey, you know what, our bad, extra peanuts on board, <laughs> whatever it is, right? Uh, but at the end, to be vindictive and to make up a story purposely after already screwing up your day by making you wait from 1030 at night to 230 in the morning, then to remove me and that kid, and then I don't know if there was others who were removed, but I know about us too. And that kid doesn't have any power. He doesn't have a, any viewers, etc. I don't know. I don't know his name. And so is, Air, uh, is American Airlines going to make it up to him? No. If you don't have power, you get crushed. And that's another problem here, man. Now at airports, some of some of the employees at some of the airlines, I think that they're God. They're on a power trip. <laughs> I can kick you off a plane for any reason. Just look at me funny. Sneeze funny, and I'll kick you off the plane, right? Well, 
What kind of customer service is that, man? Remember, we're actually paying you a lot of money to get on these flights. That kid, he's the one that was most vocal, and if it wasn't for him, the supervisors weren't going to call up to management and go, hey, remember that plane we were never going to bring? Ah, these guys, uh, it looks like we got to bring that plane. Look, there's all sorts of heroes in the story. The cops decent, the guy at the counter was great, the uh, Edwin who got me on the JetBlue flight. I mean, just like that. It's amazing how quickly you can get somebody on a flight if you care, right? So there is a right way to do customer service. Just because you're going on an airplane doesn't mean that you have to get terrible service. We should treat each other with decency, right? And like we're fellow human beings on this planet. And that's not the way American Airlines handled it. God bless JetBlue. They delivered huge. They got me on a flight right away. Uh, their employees were wonderful. Some of you guys whispered of a dream that I would actually make the flight. And it looks like I'm finally going to do that. I got to go board. Could you imagine if I missed the plane now? <laughs> anyway, thank you to all you guys who uh, backed me up here. Uh, and throughout the airport, too, TYT Army is all over. I've been taking pictures, videos with people. Uh, much love, guys. I'll report back from Florida.